What's up you guys? My name is Karina and I am so excited because if you watched my last Bath & Body Works um, video, which was just my entire collection, I talked about um, retired fragrances that I was obsessed with and couldn't find anywhere. And since then, I went on a little search for all these fragrances and ended up getting more than just the ones that I wanted. And I am so excited to share them with you, smell them. Most likely, these are probably expired potentially. Um, if they smell any different than I remember them, then I will probably not use them or just use them on clothes, not spray them on my skin. If you're familiar with um, whether it is unhealthy to spray expired fragrances on your skin or if it's just the scent that might not be pleasant, let me know. But I'm too excited to worry about that right now. So I'm just going to share them with you, smell them. I have a couple like collections. So if you remember these guys, they're like all little glitter sprays. This is the one that I uh, was searching for, Wild Apple Daffodil. I have a few others, so let's just get right into it. Okay guys, so Wild Apple Daffodil. And if you can in the comments, let me know which of these you remember and how you felt about them because sometimes I feel like I'm the only one that remembers certain scents. So let me know if you remember this one, but this is I think my all time favorite scent. Part of it is because it's so nostalgic to me, but this, let's see. I don't see um, what's in it, but I mean apple and daffodil. Sounds about right. This smells so good. All of these that are in like this bottle with the shimmer smell very, very sugary, like straight sugar, not warm sugar, nothing like that, just straight sugar. And for some reason, I love that. But this smells so fresh and so sweet at the same time. Oh my gosh, it's literally apple, like you definitely get the daffodil. I'm gonna spray it, I can't help it. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. You definitely just get flowers and apple, and apple and fragrances is one of my favorite things. Not just apple. If it's just apple, it's kind of boring, but mixed in and made sweet, I love those type of fragrances. I like very sweet fragrances, but I also like fresh fragrances as long as they're not too fresh. Like, I need some sugar in there. You give me, like, a floral with a lot of sugar and a fresh fruit, like an apple or something that's not just very sweet, and it'll be my favorite fragrance. So that's why I love this so much because it is sweet, has a little bit of floral, has a fresh kind of fruit smell, and I am so happy I have this. It smells exactly how I remember it, so I'm so happy. And the shimmers are so pretty. And what I've noticed with these is these last longer than any of my regular Bath & Body Works sprays, even the shimmer mists. I think the shimmer mists in general last longer, but these last forever. I still smell them at the end of the day, and when it's gone, I will miss it, but I'll probably keep the bottle just so if I ever miss it, I can just smell the bottle and remember remember the good old days, but I am so excited about this guy. Then, to find that one, I ended up buying a entire collection of five of them because one of those was as expensive as um, half of just the entire collection. Did that make sense? That probably didn't make sense. The amount that I paid for five of them was double how much I would pay for one of them. So might as well get five. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yeah, so additionally to that, I got wild peach pop poppies. I don't know why I want to say Popeyes. But yeah, this guy right here. And let's smell this one. So this has that floral and peach note. It has a weird smell to it, almost like it's such a fresh, like, nectarine almost smell that it almost smells unnatural in a body spray. It's very strange. I do like it, but I will say I used to love peach fragrances and lately they're not my favorite and I'm not sure why. Yeah, it smells really good. I do like the floral, I like the sugary scent, but there's something about it that the freshness of like this nectarine smell, or obviously peaches, um, just sits weird. 
I don't know, but I do like it. This is my second favorite from the five that I got from this collection. Then I have, let's do another one like this, Jingle Bellini. So this one, well, the top was broken, but I can still smell it. So I'm not a huge fan of this. This has that like fresh, sweet scent, but also a very artificial, like alcoholic beverage scent that I'm not a huge fan of, almost borderline medicine-like. Does that make any sense? I know this isn't usually like the scent that you think of when you think medicine, that artificial candy smell that almost smells like medicine. So that part I don't necessarily like, um, but it's still a good scent. I could see why people would like this. It's just not my absolute favorite. Then I have Strawberry Sparkler. So I was so excited about this one. Such a pretty bottle. Um, I'm trying to get the shimmers. So the shimmers are have like stayed on the bottom, which is unfortunate, um, but you can definitely shake it up. And this one, yeah, so there's definitely a strawberry scent to it. But again, it's a very artificial alcoholic beverage candy scent that isn't my favorite. But I do like it. I feel like this would be a favorite for most people. I don't know why I'm weird and I'm not a huge fan, but it is okay. I'm glad I tried it. Would I buy it myself again? Probably not, but it's still a good one. Then I have Love, Love, Love. Now this one, I will say, is my least favorite out of them. I'm so sad. Was this a perfume at one point? I feel like it was a perfume. Oh, I sprayed the camera, that's okay. This smells like a purple Skittle, but even more artificial, which is not my vibe. It's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. It is very pretty. Like, it does smell like the packaging. I love when it, the smell, like, you look at the packaging and you're like, yes, this is what it smells like. It does kind of smell like this, you know, purple Skittle, a little medicine-y, I don't know. But let me know if you liked this one back in the day, if you remember it. But yeah, not the biggest fan. Then I got this, two from this collection. Do you remember these? Oh my gosh, I think this might have been the first thing that I ever got from Bath & Body Works, ever. I am so excited to have found it. Honey Sweetheart is incredible. I used to think I liked this one more than Wild Apple Daffodil, but the freshness of Wild Apple Daffodil is so good that it almost beats this, but holy moly is this good. Oh my god, this has such a, like, a fresh, I almost get like a melon, lemon, lemony vibe if that makes sense, but it's so sugary and it has the honey in there. This just smells so good. I have to spray it again. I can't help it. Mm. It's fresh at the same time. I feel like there's gotta be some floral in there. It's so good. I feel like a lot of people might remember this because whenever whenever people say um, that their all-time favorite scents, like they list them, this usually is one of them. So I'm a huge fan of this and I'm glad I have it in the packaging that I remember. I still remember to this day, I think I might still actually have one of my first Bath & Body Works collections that included this and I said that I was scared to use it up because I didn't want to get rid of it. And now I have it again. So very excited about this guy. So along with it, I really wanted to try another one from that collection. So I got Berry Flirt. I was pretty excited about this guy too. Oh, this one sprays. Does anybody know how to fix sprays when they kind of shoot? I'm guessing it's like clogged in some way, shape, or form. Maybe I can drop the top in, I don't know, rubbing alcohol? I don't know, I'm trying to think of things that would unclog things, but let me know if either you know how to fix clogged sprayers or if you know where to buy ones that would fit on a shimmer spray like this. But this guy, I can't even spray into the air because it's just shooting. Okay, I'm spraying it on myself. It's happening. This is really good. It has that same like really sweet sugary scent. All of these do. I love that. I feel like they stopped doing that. But it's that same really sweet sugary scent and berries and that's it. This is amazing. Not as good as the other one, obviously, because that one's like 
top notch, but it is also very, very good. And then I mentioned that I really liked a holiday collection from however many years back, and um, there was Frosted Winter Woods. I kept mentioning that I wanted it, and finally I found it online and purchased it. And it looks like this. This might not be a favorite for a lot of people because it is, it could potentially be leaning masculine, I would say. It smells like Christmas tree, woods, and Christmas tree. Like there's something about it that just smells like the holidays, not just like woods. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's just the intensity and freshness of the pine. It smells like fresh Christmas tree and not just like a masculine woodsy scent. It's almost like a feminine pine. I don't know. But this makes me think of Christmas. Nothing makes me think of Christmas more than this. And I am so glad to have it in my life. I think it came with this much used, so. All of these were used, by the way, yeah. And yeah, I'm just very happy to have that in my life. And as a fun little add-on, I did get one from Victoria's Secret. So this packaging was the first packaging that I ever had for body sprays from Victoria's Secret Pink. This is pretty and pure. This doesn't exist anymore, right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember having one with a blue top and it being my favorite. And I thought it was fresh and clean because that scent smells familiar. But then I realized that that scent back in the day, I think had a purple top or something like that. And I definitely had a blue one. So I was like, maybe it was this one. So I bought it and this just smells like lemonade. So I don't think this was it either. Or maybe it was and I just don't remember because I was so young, but it is a nice scent. I do like it. It was expensive because these are very sought after. All of these are very sought after. It's crazy how much people can make from just collecting like older releases and then selling them years later. That smells good. Sorry, I'm just taking a break. That smells amazing. But yeah, those are all the scents that I got. Let me know which of these you remember, which one was your favorite. I am really happy to have Wild Apple Daffodil, obviously, and Honey Sweetheart, and this packaging, like, why can't Bath & Body Works go back to doing fun things like this? I miss it. I also miss their, like, gel lotions that had, like, aloe in them, and is that it? Is that all I miss? Their fizzy lotions, I wish they had a lot more scents in their, like, fizzy, like, foam lotions. Those are fun, but yeah, I love them. I have such like nostalgic vibes and honestly, they're so pretty. Like, they're so pretty, right? Am I crazy? I'm crazy. It's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.